Oh yeah, it's double organic. This book is chock full of tips and tricks, and you can get it free at doubleorganic.ca. I hope you enjoy this video. I learned this persimmon de-seeding method from an Iranian mafia guy. He's not, no, he's, he's, he's not in any mafia. An old Iranian co-worker taught me this method. The Persian pomegranate pounding method. We'll call it the triple P. That's where these fruits come from. Trust the professionals. The professional Persian persimmon <laughs> pomegranate pounding method. There's some alliteration for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's, it works for me. I like this method. Probably wondering, what the heck is on your head? We are doing a pomegranate video here. Oh. Like this shirt? Har Harley gave it to me at the 2012 Woodstock Fruit Festival. I'm already signed up for the 2014. See there. Thanks for the shirt. It's comfortable. Wear it a lot. Organic bamboo. How do we get into the pomegranate nice and quickly? I'm gonna show you what I think is the best method for getting it in quickly, getting all the seeds out, and we're also going to be timing this. This is an analysis of the method. We're going to see how long does it take one pomegranate to have all the seeds taken out. What's the time taken? We're going to be testing how dirty or messy is this method because a lot of people complain that smacking it gets a lot of splatter. We're going to be, uh, we, this air is all cleaned off. We're going to have this splatter mat. So anything that splatters is going to go on to that. Then afterwards, we're going to wipe down this area and see how dirty is it. We're going to be objective. So, what I'm going to do is first show you how to get into the pomegranate. Now, I used to just cut it in half, but what is best is to score around it. And then, you're going to twist and pops right open just like that. Just gonna... See? This way you're not cutting any seeds open and you're not spilling the juice. So I'm going to go ahead and do these all real quickly. Doesn't take too long. Just pop it open. Score around it. Pop it open. Score around it. Pop it open. What is going on here? We're going to discard this one. Half of it is moldy. That's okay. No preservatives. Sometimes things go bad. Just go around it, pop it open. All right. Okay, so mm. I'm gonna start the time for the individual one before I slice this one open. Just gonna get set up. We want a nice big deep bowl. That way you're not gonna have splatter going all over the place. So I'm just going to carefully put these over here. That goes there. We've got our timer ready. Got our bowl. Big spoon. Big spoon. We're going to be smacking these. And here we go. Pomegranate smackers. Take your knife. Ready, get set, smack. All right, scoring around it, splitting it open. We're just gonna kinda pull on the sides a bit. Encourage the seats to come out. We're smacking around. Hitting on this on the top, hitting on the sides. Am 
empty. Next one. Pull the sides a bit. And stop. One minute. Oh, we'll keep going. Let's be accurate here. We have to pull these little bits off that fell through. Let's grab all this white pith. And uh, I'm not too thorough in this. It's okay to eat some of it. If you want to be real uh, nice with your presentation, you can put some water. Put some water and uh, get rid of all that pith. It will float to the top. There you go. Minute 30 for a pomegranate. There's the time. Alright, so we're just going to keep on rolling and so we know how long it takes to do one and then at the end of the video I'll post the average time for uh, how long it took me to do all five as well as the uh, how long it took to clean up and, and get it ready for eating and what kind of mess did it make? I've got no splatter so far. We want Nice deep bowl, prevent the splatter. So here's the scene, the scene of the crime. We got some small amount of blood spatter here, persimmon spatter. Not very much, barely anything. And we have one little persimmon arrow or seed there. And here that got away. Couple on the cutting board that uh, just fell out. So. No seeds running around on the floor. No splatter everywhere. Let's see what uh, wiping this cloth around finds about uh, how messy this was. But it seems pretty clean. Nothing on the floor. So quick, easy, effective, and clean. So here is our napkin couple drips here and there that I picked up. Not a whole heck of a lot. Seems pretty clean to me. Not a, not a big clean up. Not a big mess. So this is the method I use. I find it to be the best method. I've tried all the other methods. I've tried the water method at a half hour per persimmon. Didn't quite like that one. 
I've tried other methods that are a little bit less messy apparently and they take forever so hands down smack that persimmon <laughs>